Ridge Holland. Ridge Holland. Ridge Holland. Ridge Holland. Why did I do that? I don't know. Did you, did you enjoy it? It's, it's a little bit of a, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna go with it. But we're talking about the Rich Holland nonetheless. And uh, what about Rich Holland? Um, why do WWE keep pushing Rich Holland? And are they really pushing Rich Holland if he's actually in NXT? Important questions. So let's actually roll the, roll the... Let's rewind back to... Let's rewind to the NXT black and gold when we see Rich Holland for the first time. And me personally, I don't like this guy. For sure, I don't like this guy. I don't see any potential of this guy. But if we go forward a little bit, we see him debuting before Pete Dunne on SmackDown. And I was shocked. I was shocked. He was paired with Sheamus. They created the Brawling Brutes. A couple months after that... Uh, Pete Dunne joined with the name of Butch and they were the Brawling Brutes and I was seeing how this shtick is going nowhere. I mean, Sheamus is big and all, but Brawling Brutes is kind of uh, this thing that it's not working because Butch is not Butch and Rich Holland is not Rich the Fridge, you know? It's, uh, it was kind of absurd. So if we go forward, we see the split of the Brawling Brutes and... P. Dunn is in existential crisis and he actually finds out that he's P. Dunn again because of Tyler Bate who goes into SmackDown. And Rich Holland goes back to NXT and he's playing this character that uh, he feels sorry that he injures everyone on his way because if you don't know, Rich Holland is the reason why we don't see Big E because he broke Big E's neck. And um, right now, He's in NXT, he's playing this character. And uh, WWE is low-key pushing him, even though he's in NXT. And I kind of don't understand it, you know? Do you guys understand what I'm talking about? Why do I think WWE is actually pushing him? You're gonna say that WWE is not pushing him because he's downgraded to NXT, right? Wrong. Because every week, Rich Holland is out. He's cutting a promo or he's having a match. He had that feud with Gallus. And the most triggering part for me is Rich Holland was always a mid-carder, right? But on last week's NXT, he came out and he interrupted the NXT Women's Champion in order to cut a promo. And yeah, he... Cut the promo, and because of his promo, basically Sean Spears' debut. But still, a mid Carter who went from SmackDown to NXT is interrupting NXT Women's Champion. In theory, the third most important person in the company, the first being NXT Champion, North American Champion, and we can even argue that she is the second most important person in the company. So I'm not sure if you guys understand how much WWE is pushing Rich Holland, given the fact that he's doing that, and also that Sean Spears is going to be his first opponent. Sean Spears is indeed no one for you, but if you're watching professional wrestling, you kind of will understand that he's a big deal. He's a big sign to WWE. He's a veteran, basically. He is having, what, 20 years of experience. He's in the caliber of Cody Rhodes, but not that popular. Basically, he's the other guy going, training people in the Nightmare Factory. So, yeah. I don't know where the whole Fridge Holland is going, but I hope that we'll figure it out and at some point either kick him out in order for him to find his way finally, properly, or him actually finding his way. I really hope so. I want everyone to be happy. I want you to be happy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Tell me what you think about the, all of this. Leave a like, share, subscribe, uh, all of that good stuff, and I'm gonna see you next time. Peace.